fall is here. Hello everyone, it is October 2nd, and I really sucked at vlogging all of September and August, but as expected, uh, Soul is here, so that's why I kind of wanted just to be present with him. As you guys know, thank you so much for your support. Um, but today, he's getting his two month shots, and uh, everyone keeps telling us like, oh, are you nervous? How do you feel about it? And to be honest, I didn't do any research. I think he's gonna be really fussy and crying all day. There's Stefano, he just walked the dog. He's working from home today. It is 10.30, it's time for us to leave. So let's hope that he's okay today. I'm doing some denim and denim. Thrifted these babies. I think they're handmade because there's, there's no tag. Hi, Disco. But yeah, some denim and denim. Denim action with my very nerdy rose glasses. And then, of course, I didn't mean to, but we're matching. Hey, 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 hey. My sweet pumpkin. 12 pounds, eight ounces, and 24 inches long. <laughs> You're such a little charmer. She measured your head, you started smiling, huh? Oh no, we gotta cover up. He People don't when need she to push down on his legs too. Oh you little flirt. Ain't none of that. It's too soon. You're growing up too fast. After the shots. You're a good strong boy. Yeah, you are. Buddy. You're a strong boy. It's okay. You did well. They didn't it's gonna let me hurt. record. It's gonna hurt later, okay? And tomorrow's gonna be painful. Really? When you remember, 48 hours is the worst after. Class. So I'm gonna be stuck by myself tomorrow. Yep. And I want to go to um, SR. I love how he didn't tell me this. <laughs> what a jerk! I'm gonna lose my mind. Oh, well, I'm going to mom and papa's eyes. Hello. Can I kiss your little Tommy? I'm at my parents' mm -hmm. house so they can spend time with their grandson and also for my own sanity. Can I kiss your big Tommy? <laughs> this belly. <laughs> You're so cute. You're so cute. And what did you just tell me to do, Dad? He told me to take my glasses off because I look old. Mm-hmm. Let me look But young. I can't see. Yes, you could, of course. I really can't. My stigma is getting worse. You're using it for decor, for aesthetic. No, I'm not. Look at it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a side family full of haters. Kegel. I'm going to change the babe while I chit chat with you guys. Since Soul came into our world, um, <laughs> he's smiling right now. Um, I kind of was in my head about uploading videos and. Um, I went from posting twice a week to once a week, and then once he was born, maybe posting maybe like one every two weeks or three weeks. And I just op uploaded my apartment tour, and um, that one was kind of like, I was getting in my head about it because, quite frankly, I just get bored of myself editing, watching myself over and over and over again. If it's not entertaining for me, then it's definitely not entertaining for you guys. And of course, I'm just way too hard on myself about it. So I kept taking breaks and then re-editing it just so I could like feel refreshed. Almost like new eyes on the project. I finally, I put it out there and everybody was just so incredibly responsive and so sweet. And then I also wanted just to find out how people on Instagram found me and why they follow me. And the response from all of you was so overwhelming and I'm just lost for words. I first started Hello Jam to showcase my love for thrifting and my love for the environment and styling pieces together. Like that's what really drove me and got me excited. And then I started vlogging and just kind of showing my life because I felt like, hi <laughs> sweetheart. Why not? You know, why not just, you know, take you guys along in certain parts of my life? thought that by getting pregnant and having a baby, I would lose people because I wasn't doing many lookbooks or, you know, thrift hauls or this and that. But then I got all of your responses and I realized that it doesn't matter what I'm doing. You guys love me for me. You guys follow along because I'm just 100% being myself. Growing this Hella Jam family organically has 
I don't know, it's been the most rewarding thing other than this child. Um, I kind of have like a shaky voice because I kind of overthink the way, I don't know, I, I talk about this stuff because it really hits close to home and it really um, makes my heart so incredibly warm to know that you guys just, you know, just following my life because you guys just care. And, you know, reading some of the responses, I was driving from Oakland to my parents' house today and I was listening to Lee Keeley. I'm not sure if it's Lee Keeley or Lee Keeley and I just found myself crying and I was crying because I was just so incredibly grateful and so thankful for, you know, having a supportive husband, having a supportive family, having this beautiful gem of a child in my life and then also just having such a big support system. Never in a million years did I think that starting YouTube two years ago by me doing these like terrible lookbooks, you know, having all those like little hiccups that happen with YouTube, never in a million years did I think that I would have such a strong community who had my back whenever I felt down on myself. Um, and I think that's so important to just kind of take a step back and to have a piece of humble pie and also to just slap the imposter syndrome in the face and just say, you're doing all right. I guess I could read some of the responses. I think my biggest fear is to ever, is to just be cocky. My parents, my brothers always told me to just be humble. And so I feel like I'm constantly checking myself. And at first I was afraid to even post why you follow me but i really was genuinely interested and i felt like i was so down in the dumps about hella jam and the fact that i haven't been posting as consistently um that i wanted to kind of just really dig in and see why you guys still are interested in hella jam um some people said they found me on youtube and i follow you because you're a force of positivity and love i found you through youtube and just thought you and stuff radiated love and light your style, your vibe, just overall realness. I discovered you were pregnant and I fell in love even more. I'm not even a mom yet. For weeks, your house tour kept coming up in my recommendations and I finally and immediately um, fell in love. <laughs> Somebody said, through my thrift obsession on YouTube is how I found you and you're so much more than that now. Like, these are all of the responses. I was so nervous. <laughs> to even put it out there because I wasn't sure what kind of response I would get. I'm just so incredibly overwhelmed by all of your guys' love and your guys' support during this transitional time where I am insecure at times. Moments like that where I hear things from you guys and it really, really does make such an impact in my life and what I'm doing and it really reinstills that I'm doing something right and that I keep gotta keep chugging along even if I do post every two weeks or whatnot you guys still have my back so um thank you for genuinely loving me and supporting the little D'Amico family side D'Amico because I haven't changed my name yet still not sure if I will but yes so thank you peace okay we're at my parents house Bono finally came home and last night, my mom, this girl calm down. Last night, the TV broke and my mom freaked out. And she said, I don't know what to do with myself. Stefano, I need you to fix it. So I fixed it. I didn't fix it. I just replaced her other TV down with there. With one of the other ones in the house. Yeah. My mom loves her stupid Filipino soap operas. So she like was dying yesterday. Like the world ended. She didn't know what to do. So today, Stefano is going to mess with her and turn the TV or unplug it. Don't worry, don't worry, Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, don't. Just don't. Mom, what are you gonna do without your TFC? I don't know. T tomorrow is the last day ouch. for Asintado. Ouch, ouch, ouch. <laughs> Asintado! No, you have your TV. I think you have a better off body talking to each other, guys. No more TV. Gary, <laughs> is something wrong? <laughs> Which outlet did you put it in? I, the put, top? It in, I put it in three outlets now. Stuff is bad. It's plugged in. Oh, so that is working because uh, the top is that light. That is bad. The bottom that is, that is nasty. It's in the same place. Is this one going to this? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. So Steph, I can't believe you have the energy. You had a full day. <laughs> and you're pranking your mother-in-law. <laughs> I can't believe are you, that. Are you messing with me? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I believe you because I trusted you. Jimmy, Jimmy you were this boy, Jimmy. Oh. Jimmy, we were talking. Hi. I didn't How think you have the ability to do that to me. Oh, oh that's good. That's a strong kick. Yeah, now I'm going to doubt you. <laughs> you have a Every time kick. you pull a number on me. Uh, you have a strong <laughs> kick. Soul's first thrifting trip. Got some goods. Mom and Dad met up with me so we can watch. Baby, so you can try on. I needed to venture out solo. Stefano's still working from home, so I brought Soul out to Savers for the first time, and I got him in the little carrier. And then I realized I can't try on anything. My parents just so happened to read my mind, and they came out. So, thanks, Mom. Oh, you're welcome. Had I known I'm going to be in camera, I could have put makeup or lipstick. You already have lipstick on. Look at. I do. Look oh, it. okay, good. Oh my god. We are about to get breakfast with my parents and uh, I'm gonna tie on this little slang thing. Okay, ready? Yeah, just put them in there. That's it, baby. Oh, that's it. It's for you, right? Look at mom's highlighter. It's on point. I did her highlighter. Look at that. They are still very much in love. Sarah. <laughs> so big. Fall is here. Come on. Bring it back. Bring it back, you dropped it. My brain's dead. All right, guys, that wraps up the end of my first week of October. So, hope you guys are liking my uh, vlogtober. Sorry, I'm a little late. Peace.